Hi everybody, I'm here to show you uh, caterpillar farming. And what caterpillar farming is, it's for the monarch uh, butterflies. You collect the eggs or you collect the baby caterpillars and then you let them um, um, transform into butterflies. You know, you take care of the caterpillars and feed them milkweed and stuff. And the reason for doing this is uh, to help the environment, to help the butterflies because they have a better chance of survival if you help them and they have a better chance of making it to Mexico, etc. And my sister does this every year, but my sister does it on a large scale and I will attach her video after this video. She has a longer video and uh, it shows her setup. She does like over 300 or over 300 butterflies um, a season. So I'm just going to show you what I have so far and this is probably all we'll get because in Minnesota they're kind of done laying their eggs now. But um, I have, see that little white dot up here? That's an egg and there's a couple of eggs on these leaves. That's an egg we're waiting for the caterpillar to come out. And here's some baby caterpillars. And these were just super microscopic little caterpillars, and there's two in here. The other one might be hanging out on the lid or something, but it looks just like that one. And then we have, let's see what's, oh, some bigger ones. And I have to separate these into their own containers now. They're getting too big to share a container. These in a different container probably tonight. They'll each have their own container and they're eating uh, milkweed leaves and these uh, I found all these on our my milkweed garden and here we have one I'll just show you tilt it carefully this one's getting ready to transform into a chrysalis to change into a chrysalis and by tonight he'll be hanging down and he'll be in a J shape and then he will shed his skin. I don't know if it's a girl or boy yet. But then it will shed its skin. And I gotta be careful with this one here. And it will it will it will transform into the chrysalis. And then in a week or more uh, a butterfly will hatch, a monarch butterfly will hatch. But that is caterpillar farming, and stay tuned uh, for my sister's video. It's really interesting, and you'll learn a lot more, <laughs> because I just do this on a small scale. My sister does it on a large scale. But I will attach my sister's video now, and you can watch her video. Be sure to stay until the end to watch a butterfly emerging from a chrysalis. Okay, my sister Lori wanted me to videotape my setup for raising caterpillars, monarchs, and releasing them back once they hatch. I've got several shelves set up in my garage because the warmer they are, the better. And what I do is when they're very tiny, I collect them as eggs or as caterpillars and put them in these tubs with milkweed. I've got the milkweed in a gumball machine container with some piping to keep water to the milkweed while they grow and eat. And you can see this one's eating some holes. Once they get bigger, I transfer them to a dollar store cloth hamper, mesh hamper, and I put milkweed in their larger leaves for them to munch on. And as you can see, they've been munching very heartily. Once they go to the top of that container, I put them in individual containers again with a little bit of leaf because that usually means they're getting ready to go to the top, attach, and make a chrysalis. And these guys down here have made their chrysalis. They were attached to the top, hanging, and made a chrysalis. And in about 10 days, a butterfly will hatch from that. As I get them, I then transfer these chrysalis 
two tubs where I mark the date that they will potentially hatch. It's usually 10 days from turning into a chrysalis, plus or minus a couple days. So I put a date range and I know which tub to then pull and bring down here to my hatching tables where I then have them out so I can observe as they hatch and then release them when they're ready to be released. It takes a lot of commitment to do this because you're having to feed caterpillars milkweed and then learning how to detect when they're going to turn into a chrysalis and when they're going to hatch. And as you can see from my setup, all the white tubs except one are hatching monarchs. I should reach a goal of over, over 300. And there you go, that is my setup. A big thanks to my sister Carrie for helping out all these wonderful butterflies. Thanks for watching. Bye.